you have talked more than anybody else about hydroxychloroquine, uh, and you want to get the results of this study. So is one way to get the results of this study, if I can say this effectively, is the people that are on it now, for whatever, it's lupus or whatever everything else, can you find out how this virus is acting in them and quickly get their record from Medicare and Medicaid because it's paid for by them and see how it's acting, get the results of that study and see if it can be mass produced from, from coast to coast? You know, that is such a brilliant idea. The Chinese actually did it. Well, the reason they began using this drug as part of their routine in China is they looked at a hospital that had a very big volume of cases. And it turns out that none of the patients who were on uh, the, uh, the chloroquine for their lupus or their rheumatoid arthritis, which is the reason you'd be on it, got COVID-19. And conversely, none of the patients who got COVID-19 had rheumatoid arthritis or lupus. So then they thought, well, what's the difference? Well, one, there are a couple differences, obviously, but one of them was this medication use. And that was one of the key clues that got them moving forward on making this part of their formulary, so to speak. I think that is a wonderful concept. The FDA, actually, Medicare, CMS, uh, Sima Verma could do this immediately, rapidly check to see if, in fact, it's having a protective effect. That would give, I think, a lot of the medical community comfort that they weren't overstretching by reacting to a bunch of, of case reports and you know, large, large groups of patients being with their data collected as opposed to a traditional randomized trial that we're more comfortable acting on.